Hi, this is Dana with Final Invectors, and today I'm going to show you how to um, pull in a design into your Silhouette Studio Basic Edition to go ahead and get it ready for cut by color or print by cut or print and cut. Um, one of the things with the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition is that you need to use the .dxf version of the file extension. Um, you do not have to trace an image to cut it in Studio Basic as long as you have the .dxf version. And at Vinyl Designs Cut and Create, we provide the DXF um, files for all of our designs. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to open up a, a DXF, .dxf file. I'm going to bring it in. It's not going to look pretty. It's just going to be the outlines. And if you were going to just cut this, all you would have to do is resize it and cut it, and you're good to go. But if you're going to cut by color or want to do a print and cut, you got a little bit of work to do with it first. Um, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to take the word U, and I want to make that red. Because I'm going to cut it in red. And if you notice that the center of the O is also red, that means the path on this file is not compounded, so we need to make that um, file compounded. So we're going to highlight the word U again, and we're going to go up to Object, and we're going to make a compound path. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and group that word U with my three other colors of arrows and move it out of the way so I can work on the rest of the file. I'm going to do the word today in black. Oops, I got part of that D or the O. Okay, make that a compound path. I'm going to do the same thing with the word future. Make it a compound path. I'm going to group the word object or today and future together. I'm going to select them both and then go up to object and hit group so I can move that out of the way. And the rest of the design I want in gray. So I'm going to also have to make that a compound path. And now I can put the file back together. So I'm ready to go for um, cut by color. One of the things that if you had designer edition of Silhouette Studio, when you bring in an SVG file, this part of the work is already done for you. You don't have to do all of that. So to me, it's worth the $25 upgrade just to have to save all that work for every file that um, you bring in as a DXF. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you real quickly is I'm going to highlight this design and pull up my line menu. If I'm going to do a print and cut, I like to turn off the line, um, the outlines on it. And I'm going to show you by clicking back and forth on the transparent box and the color box. When it comes in, it's going to be colored like this. And if I hit the transparent, it's going to turn those those um, outlines off. It's not real noticeable on the screen, but it is when you go to print it. So those are my tips for using the DXF files in your Silhouette Studio Basic. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments of this thread, and then we can um, I can try and address them for you as quickly as I can. Have a great day.